what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This is sad, man. 62-year-old grandmother Saran James was driving home with her husband on Greenhouse Road in Katy near Houston when a bullet smashed through the window of their car and killed her. One week later, deputies charged 19-year-old Takani Blacklich with murder. Blacklich is a known gang member who lives within a mile of the shooting scene, authorities said. Officials said that Sharon James was not the intended target. A witness driving in front of Saran's car said he saw a man driving a white SUV get into a road rage incident. He told deputies he saw the two occupants of the Audi start shooting at a man in a black truck. One of those bullets hit Saran. The witness also described the driver of the Audi as a black male with short dreadlocks. Two days later, Blacklish was brought into Texas Children's Hospital with a gunshot wound, according to authorities. An alert Houston Police Department officer who was working security noticed he fit the description of the shooting suspect. The officer told investigators that Blacklish told him someone had shot at him two days before. The officer checked Blacklish's record and found a mug shot. It was shown to the witnesses who identified Blacklish as the man driving the SUV. By that time, Blacklish had been released from the hospital. The police say that they could not hold Blacklish because at that time, they hadn't proven that he had committed a crime. They had to let him go. So now Blacklish is on the lam. He's running for his life. They will catch him though. His picture is everywhere. You're gonna have to cut those dreads off to say the least. Let me tell you something. It's so easy to get caught up in this road rage stuff. I've done it myself. It ain't worth it. It's just really not worth it. Somebody blow your horn at, blow their horn at you. I know it's hard to avoid. It's hard to just ignore it sometimes. But you got to just learn to just ignore stuff like that. You got a lot of idiots that use their cars as weapons. And on top of that, they have weapons inside of their cars. People get inside of their cars and they just feel like they're superheroes. And if they have a gun, oh man, it don't matter if they can't, it doesn't matter if they can't fight. It doesn't matter if they're the weakest person on earth. When they get that gun in their hand, all of a sudden, they're Superman. They're Billy Badass. And so you got to know when some, sometimes people are very, very aggressive. And this is not just with road rage incidents. This is in life, period. Sometimes you come across people that are just a little bit too aggressive. Normally, those people are ready to attack. They're ready to do something to you. And they're just looking for a reason. So anytime you come across somebody, especially like if it's somebody you looking at, you sizing up like, man, this little old guy, you know. Don't think that. They may be ready. So you got to always kind of like, when people just start just going off and just acting really, really crazy for no reason, you got to catch a snap. Don't get baited in to where you allow somebody to just take your life. Because sometimes people have it on their mind and you never know. I personally try to not even use my heart horn. The only time I will use my horn is that if I'm in a rush to get somewhere and somebody's at the light and they're just sitting. You know, it's like they, they fell asleep at the wheel or something and they're not paying attention that the light has changed. And then I might boop, let them know, okay, I got to get out of here. Uh, that's a common thing. But sometimes people take exception to that and they want to roll the window down or they want to you know, throw up the sign and all that kind of stuff. The best thing to do, <laughs> this is hard too, because you got to keep your eye on people. Sometimes people just pull out a gun and start shooting. So, but the best thing to do is kind of like just 
don't even look that way. Just keep driving. Just keep going forward. Now, if you feel something in your career field, you want to kind of keep an eye on the person, then that's fine. But you don't want to be staring people down and all that stuff because the longer you look, somebody going to be yah, yah, yapping and all that stuff, and then you're going to want to like, yeah, what you want to do, fool? Well, turn on, put it in my mouth. Let's go. Let's get it. You know? So the best thing to do to avoid that type of stuff is just keep your eye on the road, keep looking forward, and let that fool kill somebody else. Let that fool let somebody else kill him so they can go through all that court stuff and going downtown and giving statements and all of this type of stuff and having the family trying to sue you even though their so-called loved one was in the wrong. You know, people are always trying to sue, especially if they think you got some money. So the best thing to do is just try to avoid if you can. Most road rage incidents can be avoided because if you got one person that's mad and they acting a damn fool and you start acting a fool back, all you're going to do is fuel the fire. But if you don't even give him any energy, you don't give that person any energy, then all they can do is just, you know, you know they kind of like, they feel like they won. That's all it is. They get control freaks. They want to feel like they're in control. They're controlling the situation. So let them do that, da, 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 and then just keep on going. Because really, it really isn't worth it. So Ron James, I'm sorry you couldn't live out the last years of your wonderful life with your family like a normal person. All because some idiots riding around with guns, shooting at people like it's a Western movie. But I'm sure they'll catch it because I would bet anything that fool is going to go on social media and do some form of self-snitching. No more talk. What the haters talking about?